Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Watch out for some slick spots overnight, especially on any untreated surfaces. Still have some rain and snow showers out there, but they're becoming fewer and fewer uh, across uh, the region right now. Let's take a look at what's happening now. Live Doppler radar. You can see we've got some rain down south of New Bedford, across Buzzards Bay, across Cape Cod, but across Rhode Island nearby Massachusetts. All that snow is just kind of falling apart. The storm system really never got its act together. It might over the next couple of days while it's out across the Atlantic Ocean, but it's not right now. Threat tracker for tonight at the medium level that continues into tomorrow morning. The rain and snow showers will still be around, but they'll kind of be winding down. Uh, freezing temperatures inland, especially north and west of Providence, could lead to some of those slick roads. Tomorrow afternoon and evening look to be a lot quieter. Temperatures 32 in Smithfield, north and west of Providence. That's where the icing could take place. 35 in Providence, 36 Newport, New Bedford, Taunton, upper 30s. Here's a live look at Providence. Looks pretty quiet. Here's Newport, good visibility, no precipitation out there right now. Temperatures have actually gone up just a little bit, now up to 36 degrees in Newport. Wind from the north, 12 miles an hour, making it feel like 28. So watch the, how the precipitation looks pretty impressive, and then it just kind of falls apart across southern New England. The rain still looks pretty, uh, pretty impressive, working across uh, the uh, North Atlantic into uh, Nantucket, the Vineyard, Cape Cod. It's also associated with this area of low pressure that's going to be scooting on off to the east northeast, passing well to our south and east. So overnight, we will be seeing some snow showers and rain showers continuing, but uh, they'll be fewer and fewer uh, as we go through the night. It's 5 a.m., maybe some lingering showers, 8 o'clock in the morning, cloudy skies. Notice what happens in the afternoon. We begin to see a little bit of sunshine. Could be some lingering rain showers, especially across southeastern Massachusetts, but I think we're going to be mainly dry into tomorrow evening. Snowfall amounts, most of this has already been realized. Coating maybe up to an inch. Had a coating reported in situate. Smithfield report of a half an inch up there in Cumberland. There still could be a coating in some spots in the Providence metro area, but I think most of the damage has been done. So tomorrow morning, snow and rain showers ending and then just lots of clouds. Temperatures in the upper 30s by noontime. Let's pinpoint the afternoon for you. We'll get a little bit of sunshine, I think, in Charlestown, Hope Valley, Westerly, 41 in Wickford, 41 in Newport, southeastern Mass. And uh, northern Rhode Island will be seeing a little bit of sun from time to time, upper 30s to about 40 degrees or so. Winds from the north, 10 to 15 miles an hour, so still uh, fairly uh, windy tomorrow. So feel like temperatures dipping down to the 20s at times. 39, Fall River, Freetown, 39, 41, New Bedford. Could be a few rain showers out here. Seven-day forecast. Tuesday, we're looking at sunshine. About 39, 40 on Wednesday, looking quiet, 42 Thursday. On Friday, I'm expecting to see some clouds arriving late in the day, and that could lead to some snow. Friday night into Saturday morning, a little ocean storm may get us. Doesn't look major at this time, but we'll watch it closely. Lots of time to do that. Sunday looks dry, sunshine, temperatures about 38 degrees. So just watch out for those slick spots overnight and first thing tomorrow morning. That's the best advice we can get. Thanks, yeah. TJ. Well, coming up in sports, we head back to Gillette.